Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. If you're a returning subscriber, <laughs> I love you guys and welcome back. I truly, truly appreciate it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you're new to the channel so you get notified when I post new content. Okay, guys, so let's call in our ancestors. I hope you've had a beautiful, beautiful night. So grand rising to all my beautiful people who are watching me live. I love you guys. Mm. Ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channel message for the beautiful collective that is watching me today. Please guide me, protect me, and give my beautiful collective some enlightenment on their journey. Ancestors, please close any other door other than the highest white light. And let's tap in. Guys, remember to put yourself where you belong. These are timeless, general, and collective readings, so they may or may not resonate from start to finish. You know the drill. Only take what resonates. Ancestors with the Moonology and the Manifestation Moonology cards. What are we tapping into with the overall energy? It's a time for action. New moon in Aries. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. Now... Somebody may need to step out of your comfort zone. You may be stepping out of your comfort zone because it's time for action, okay? And this new moon in Aries is coming. That's the eclipse moon, guys. And then we have the super moon. Emotions are running high and don't let your past hold you back, the south node. So you got the north node and the south node coming out. That's four cards. Yeah, emotions are running high. Somebody is very much overwhelmed by a situation we're gonna get the villain deck we're gonna find out <laughs> what's going on here wow it's the eight of swords with the judgment like i said somebody is um very much caught up the eight of swords like they're in a mental entrapment a purgatory a prison of the mind maybe even a jail take it as it resonates guys but it's only judgment there so somebody was very evil very vindictive towards you judged you falsely and instead of looking at themselves and how somebody has to look at themselves judgment time guys judgment day is here but when it comes to this north node it's like somebody is stuck maybe you are stuck maybe you're um on the fence about something it's the ten of pentacles about this family about this legacy somebody may be very up in their head about your legacy because you're taking action towards this Ten of Pentacles, Temperance Angel, balance something out. Because emotions are running high, guys, with the supermoon. Things are changing. And we have to take accountability for it and bring balance to the situations around us so that we can bring in this beautiful legacy. Time to put the past behind you. It says don't let the past hold you back. The Page of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in the upright. Now... There was some kind of uh, four of wands, so that's like celebration, happiness, 11-11, twin flame energy, but there was a tyrant with the sun in reverse. This is what somebody's having a hard time with. It's like a depression, like they didn't want to see the truth. They wanted to stay in this, um, in this south note of the past being a tyrant, being a bully, maybe even bullying you. These people who are from your past who are trying to be a tyrant, they're depressed. There's no enlightenment. They refused or refused. Remember, it's past, present, future, okay, guys? Um, to see the light. When it came to this relationship or partnership or just you celebrating in general, being okay with what's going on around you. These people are going through judgment because no matter what, you stepped out of the comfort zone. And, and it was very uncomfortable, guys. You had to do what you had to do because you didn't want to be in a mental entrapment. You had to look inwards. Yeah, it's the page of cups. And somebody wants to come in and apologize. Be gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. Maybe that's what you chose to do to, for yourself because a lot of people weren't going to give that to you, guys. It is what it is. People were judging you, wanted you to be in a mental entrapment because you were going towards your north node. You had a purpose in life. It says a new emotional situation, message regarding relationships and social invitations and great intuitive insight. Somebody knows that you're extremely intuitive. So what you say 
he's kind of like, well, guys, it is what it is. Decisions in reverse. It was a time for action, okay? With this new moon and, and Aries, it's a time for action, but a lot of people are refusing to take the action because of a decision that needs to be made when it comes to this family or this legacy or the spiritual wealth. Take it as a resonance. The Ten of Pentacles. It's like starting a family, 11-11, but you have to put something in the past behind you. Don't let this past of these bullies and this dark part of your life hold you back. You have the ability to balance out the energies, light and dark. Emotions are going to run high, but somebody is not making a decision here. When you have already made a decision for yourself, this is why somebody is in a mental entrapment to come in and apologize or to meet you. Take it as it resonates. This is release yourself from which holds you back. A need to detoxify unnecessary worries based on, on lack of self-confidence. See, your ability to have this self-confidence, to, to not care even if you're going to fall on your face, you're going to fail, somebody's going to laugh at you, you still do it because you know it's the right thing to do and it, it brings you inner peace and outer peace. Somebody didn't want to make a decision when it came to this because of their lack of self-confidence. So there is no decision being made. So somebody may run out of time is what it comes down to. Because when it comes to this time, the time to take action, somebody's having a hard time to make the decision. It's the emperor in reverse. Uh, the emperor's here. Somebody, Aries is an emperor. It's like stable, efficient, taking charge of the situation, an ambitious plan. Somebody is releasing something in order to come forward. Now, you may be the emperor, a boss CEO, independent contractor of your own life, but somebody is changing their life. I wish this was a little bit closer so you could see these cards, but somebody is about to change their life, and it's because they want to reconcile. It's a, the Temperance Angel is a reconciliation card. But it's a reconciliation within self first. You, can, you have to reconcile within yourself. When your mind changes, your world changes, your life changes. Change your life. These emotions are running high because life is changing. Now, these karmics, these bullies, they're having a bad time right now. As you're sleeping easy, trying to just figure it out and, you know, take your, your ritual, do your rituals and, you know, just try to make light and a little bit better of this very toxic cycle there's a lot of people going through a lot of turmoil and they're having a little bit of a panic attack okay because it's time to change your life whether you want to or not people are having to be pushed into the dark night of the soul and it's hurt okay change your life it says a sudden realization that offers freedom break free from procrastination and embrace the opportunities that change bring Time to embrace new opportunities, guys. And it's going to cause a lot of emotions. But feel those emotions. Because it, it's a beautiful feeling. And it's healing. Crying's healing. Laughing's healing. Playing. Joking. You know, you got to make light of things that have happened in the past. Because divine guidance here, seven of pentacles, four of swords, moon, knight of cups, page of swords, king of Aerials, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles. <sighs> Somebody is definitely wants to come towards you. They're getting guided to do some healing, maybe in their sleep, because there was a lot of in the dark. Now, maybe you heal in your sleep. There's new opportunities to improve your plans. You just have to listen to your intuition for the accurate guidance to make the right decision. Somebody wants to come in as a knight in shining armor after learning something new about you with that page of swords. They want to challenge their traditions or what they thought of in the past. King of Ariels to come and invest in you. They have a plan. They're working something out. They're very professional and they have good financial um, support system or backing or something. They want to invest something in you. They want to be generous and stable and successful. This could be you guys, very much powerful in your accomplishments, whatever little that is. It doesn't matter. You don't need the big glitz and glamour. It's about that internal peace, right? And somebody's coming in with the truth. It says a wonderful new idea 
Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So whatever communication problems you may have had in the past, it's all being cleared up with this eclipse, okay? It's the two of pentacles. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs and projects at once and making work fun. Now, somebody may want to come in. This doesn't have to be a sexual relationship or partnership, but maybe somebody wants to break the ice and offer you some kind of opportunity because you are the truth. So cheers, guys. Grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do because we're going to dig into it and I'm going to see exactly what's holding this person back in depression and why they choose to be a bully when it comes to stability. Why are they so imbalanced and why are they so scared? make this decision or that somebody is coming in to make a decision with you spirit guides let's see what's this what's this south node this sun in reverse and the page of wands it's divine guidance and it's in the fucking reverse guys and all my cards are in the upright you see bottom of the deck it's the eight of cups you walked away from this person because they were a tyrant they were a bully and they were clearly depressed making you depressed okay you didn't want to stay stuck and you had to let go of the past so you forgave this person that's why you dance with joy every day because you did the best you could <laughs> you walked away it says there's something better waiting for you do what you know is right for you and it's a spiritual quest guys you walked away right into your spiritual quest understanding that you needed to let the past go or else it was going to hold you back and once you step out of that comfort zone into your north node people started attacking you because they didn't have the divine guidance to, to listen to their inner voice. Or all they were hearing was the monkey mind of the loud voice of what everybody was saying that was wrong. And they weren't listening to their heart, that little tiny voice. But you did. This is a search for meaning of life. Consider al alter, uh, alternate, alternative approaches and surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. See, this person is a bully. These people, this group, this coven, whatever this is, these people who are stuck in the South Node, um, that's because of the company they keep. And you've seen it for what it is. You knew these people. Maybe you grew up with them. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But you've seen it for what it was. And you had to move away from this. It could be family, friends, but you knew that they weren't role models. You couldn't learn anything from them. So you walked away in search of meaning of life and you considered an alternate approach. And that's what these people refuse to do. Consider an alternate approach as to why they are feeling so fucking jealous that somebody had happiness or has happiness. Heart of the deck. It's the ace of wands. Somebody has a lot of fucking passion for you. A lot of passion for you. And wants to come in <laughs> and know the meaning of life. Eight of Cups, but they have to move away from something, and that's the past. They have to get let go of whatever's holding them back to go towards the South Node. This is you as well, guys, but you're a star, and so is this person or these people. Your soul tribe, part of the deck, it's the world. Okay, so you have a dream coming true, but it's only because you ended a cycle. When one door closes, another one opens, guys. You need to understand that. With the world, it's a very happy ending. Coming full cycle, guys. A spiritual growth and insight. Somebody is learning. So there is no real losses because we're the star. All about fucking healing. There's major healing here. Lower this light. So, yeah. <laughs> I just shut everything off. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to lower it. Somebody may have tried to shut your light out because it was too bright, <laughs> but that doesn't work out. Not, not, not at all. Okay? So, let me push this down a little bit. But you're healing from internally, externally. A lot is healing, and you have a lot to be grateful for. Because a dream is coming true, guys. This is believed in, believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. You believed in yourself and allowed you to end a situation. And get this passion, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. A chance to do something amazing and a sense of wonder. That's exactly it. That's 
that four of wands, something beautiful is coming in. It, it will bring you a lot of anxiety at first because, you know, it's a lot of compromise, a lot of trying to figure things out. It's not always going to be all peaches and cream, rainbows and butterflies, guys. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be perfectly imperfect. You have to work through it. You can't run away when things get hard. That's life. We have to find solutions, not add to the fucking problem. And this is why a lot of people stay stuck in their North Node in lockdown. Somebody is feeling locked down because they're going to judgment. It's that, okay, so it says lockdown, mental prison and confinement. With that eight of swords, that's exactly what that is. And somebody wants to come in and apologize and be very emotional with you. Spirit guides, show me what's going on here with the situation. Yeah, somebody fucking threw you away like trash. That was the decision. They were very indecisive about this Ten of Pentacles. Um, your legacy, your wealth, your, your spiritual wealth, I don't know. They didn't want to release something from the past, so they threw you away. They discarded you, and now they feel very trapped, like they're the ones who are feeling a little bit like trash. Because you're not saying anything with this cricket card. Because in order to change your life and bring balance, you had to be silent and have no action whatsoever. You allowed people to do what they needed to do and you did what you needed to do. You did not move. You did not um, make more waves in the situation. You really did leave it alone because you are the temperance angel. You knew how to bring balance to the situation and to change your life. And that was just by saying nothing at all and allowing people do what they need to do to heal for themselves. Escape. <laughs> now somebody wants to escape from this choice of this south node, this indecisiveness because they weren't guided by the divine. They want a vacation. They want to hide away. They want an adventure. But there is really nowhere to hide. They need to do the work if they want to come in with this brand new gift. The twin flame guy. You walked away from a twin flame into something better. And you don't know what that is right now. It could be walking right back into a twin flame energy. Take it as it resonates. But you are the one, the mirrored soul, and you pledged to yourself. Now, in this eight of pentacles, uh, there is somebody in the background that this woman is walking towards. And it could be towards a twin flame. Now take it as it resonates with the rules, guys. But somebody is trying to escape from their choices, this depression. To end a cycle so they can heal. Bottom of the deck, it's all eyes on you. Somebody's focused on you and what you're doing instead of being focused on what they're doing. There's a lot of people fascinated with you. And with this coming together, this long-term commitment that you're going to be in, this reconciled, this spiritual union or this contract, there was a lot of people... Trying to make sure that somebody was not single or stayed single. Somebody's running out of time. Current status is available. Somebody knows you're available. The next relationship you're going to get in is going to be long term. It's going to be a reconciling of stars. The person that you meet, the person that you will be with, the person that you will have this long term commitment with will be a star. And there's a lot of people watching to see who this fucking star is. Ancestors, let's find out what's going on here. Page of Cups. Why is this person going through so much judgment and lockdown? What did they do? That's the tower. Wow. Yeah, whatever was built on faulty foundation is crumbling. And that's why somebody is in a mental entrapment. They are very fucking confined to their choices, to their atmosphere. And they want to escape. They want to hide away. But you're so quiet. It's like they feel like you're, you're rejecting them, neglecting them. The Hierophant with the Page of Cups, I'm telling you, somebody made a decision to throw you away but wants to come in and apologize to the Page of Cups, Page of Cups. They want a relationship, a partnership. They see you as a, a higher level teacher or a speaker. They know that a lot of people look up to you. These people look up to you. Even if they're hating on you, your haters look up to you. Okay, so take it as a fucking, I don't know, as uh, Tierra would say, take it as a compliment, okay? Because, yeah, the Two of Cups, you changed your life. The Temperance Angel changed your life, Cricket, Two of Cups. 
Yeah, that is an emotion. The emotions are definitely running high because somebody sees you as equilibrium. Has probably always seen you as equilibrium. A lot of people are. This is why a lot of people are a little bit insecure and intimidated by what you got going on or who you got going on. I don't know. People are dumb. But you ain't saying anything. And this is why they're just making up stories at the end of the day. Knight of Swords. Didn't I just say that? They're just making up stories. Knight of Swords in reverse. They're pissed off. Because they don't know what the fuck is going on. And they want to run away from what the fuck they got going on. But they know that in order to do so, they have to tap into their own divine guidance. Three of Wands. This twin flame or whatever you got coming in, it's going to be very beautiful. But the Ten of Cups is in reverse with the Knight of Wands. There was somebody from your family that was very much a player. Or like in and out. Somebody tried to deter somebody with some kind of negativity. I'm telling you, there was a lot of bullies. Probably your family, Ten of Cups in reverse. And you couldn't, you couldn't deal with this energy. These people came towards you very passionately, very in and out. Like, and, and you knew that they were never going to support you. They were only there to, for, to cater to their arterial motives. And as soon as you asked them for emotional or some kind of spiritual help, they fucking turned on you. Oh, Lord. And that's why ancestors of spirit guides told you to walk away. You walked away because you knew that there was something better for you. If people cared about you, they wouldn't treat you that way. And the ancestors knew that you had to go through these experiences to show you, to see in the mirror, that you are beautiful all by yourself. Yes. Wow. Somebody wanted to end your light. Like I said, they didn't want you to shine bright. They did not want you to have your wishes come true. So they did whatever they could to make sure that your heart was broken. Not realizing that you are the healer. You can always heal your heart, guys. <laughs> Nine of Wands and you're the fucking wounded warrior. If somebody wanted to go to war with the wrong one is what it comes down to. Because you have a happy ending either way. Everything comes full cycle. Everybody is getting put under us. Come the 8th of April. People need to be careful what they're fucking sending out. Knight of Pentacles because you had patience. You knew nothing was going to come right away. But you knew it was a time for action. You needed to do what you needed to do in order to have this gift of passion. To let go of the past so you can bring in something new. A sense of wonder. And it took you a while. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It took you a little while, okay? But you wanted things to be good. Six of pentacles in, in the upright. You wanted things to be equilibrium. You didn't want to have to give to someone and then be giving somewhere else. You wanted it to be a the two of cups. So you held out. And everything is okay. It's the ten of um, swords in reverse. So these people who have tried to betray you, backstab you, manipulate you, condescend you in some kind of way, gaslight you, throw you under the bus, well, guess what? They're the ones who are getting all caught the fuck up, okay? They're going through that tower. The judgment is here. Judgment day is here. You're either going through karma or dharma because of your choices, the decisions, or lack thereof. Spirit guides, show me what's going on here with the Corleone deck because a lot of people are being fucking taken out. So let's see what's going on here. Corleone deck. It's the king of swords in reverse, and these cards are all in the upright, guys. Guess what? This king of swords in reverse, very abusive towards you. Mentally, emotionally, physically, they had no, they didn't have a strong will. They didn't have the clarity. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And they want to apologize because now they're in a mental entrapment for the choices that they made. You may have told somebody that they were going to suffer for their choices that they did. Like, say somebody abused you and you didn't abuse them back, but you told them that eventually they were, their subconscious was going to haunt them for the things that they did because you didn't deserve any of it. Well, guess what? That's what's going on. This person is being haunted by their own fucking subconscious because they were uh, a king of swords. <laughs> a fucking narcissist. Or at least they had narcissistic tendencies and now they're stuck and find in, in their prison of the mind with a lot of people who are just like them. It's the eight of wands and somebody wants to send a message through to you. There, there's a new person coming in. There's a lot of movement here. Time for action. The Ten of Pentacles is going to bring a lot of a lot of abundance. And a relationship or a partnership. But this person did discard you before. 
I'm not going to lie, this person did discard you, but they're coming back. They want to send a message to towards you. There is a sudden change, guys. You may have even got a download about this. Or you may be reading in the newspaper about somebody's downfall or demise, okay? This may be a public humiliation going on here. Because somebody didn't change their life or did change their life. Temperance angel, to clarify, the temperance angel changed your life, two of cups. Yeah, you were silent and you were silent for a reason because you were balancing out things in the background and somebody is wants to come in and negotiate with you. It's the star because you're the star. You're the healer. You made the change. A sudden realization that offers freedom, break free from procrastination and embrace opportunities that bring change. You healed the situation when it came to this equilibrium. You have hope, guidance. Remember, hope is helping other people evolve. That's what you did. You helped other people evolve because you are the temperance angel. There is a reconciliation here within stars. Okay. So you may know this star, you may not know this star, okay? But there is a reconciliation here. Two people with this two of cups, one's in the water, one's on land. Two different worlds coming together, colliding, light and dark, okay? Equilibrium, there is no segregation here. So they could be from a different part of the world, fuck for fuck's sakes, who knows? It's the seven of swords in reverse. These people who were on that no south, no uh, south node, who were holding on to the past and, and clinging and in depression or in depression and being a tyrant in your energy who clearly didn't have no guidance. Now they're pissed off trying to find some kind of escape route. Seven of Swords, they're trying to find an escape route because they're getting caught up. There was a thief in the wings trying to lie on you so that they can get some kind of benefits from your twin flame or from your energy, your soul ascension energy. You had a big bullseye on your back. This is why you walked away. You knew that this family was corrupt. And they're all going to get fucking caught up. They seen your potential for success. You seen your potential for success. Seven of Pentacles. Now somebody wants to invest in you after not investing in you. But I don't know. I think you just chose to invest in yourself. Do the, the right thing for yourself. But you have a long-term commitment coming in. It's the Five of Pentacles. And somebody is feeling left out. It's your family, your friends, whoever was being uh, like in and out, you know, very like they had no love for self. Maybe they had no support system. So, of course, they're not going to support you. I don't know. Somebody had a lot of growing up to do. And they feel very lost, very sad, like they're dwelling on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, the maybes, the what ifs. And this is why they see you as a target, because you're happy, you're stable, you're you may not even have everything or anybody, but you're still doing better than they are internally. So they're jealous. Yeah, and everything's OK for you because something is coming in that is equilibrium after this three of swords. You were hurt. You were hurt, hurt, because you knew that people tried to end you, tried to shut your light out when all you wanted to do was make your dreams and other people's dreams come true. You just wanted to be helpful. And these people want to break your heart because they've seen your potential. I don't know, these people are happiness haters. They can have everything, but they're never going to be happy. And they're mad because you have nothing and you're still happy. See? Ten of Pentacles. You see what I mean? No matter what. You are that warrior, a happy ending, no matter what. The marriage, the inheritance, everything is yours. You had the spiritual growth and insight to get not just yourself, but a lot of other people out of the fucking trenches. And you think that ancestors, God, are going to allow people to just fucking, you know, discredit your name? Oh, fuck no. Nothing is sticking because nothing will ever stick. You fucking call it out on your own. That's why you got the six of wands here. You got victory, four of wands, six of wands, ace of wands, and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, you're fucking right. You got that victory. And you got that big, big energy either coming in or you just hold that shit. I'm telling you, you the, the partnership that you're going to be in is two stars. Two stars. Two people can make their dreams come true, and together you can make everything come true. There's breaking of the ties, okay? There's like you're breaking the generational curses, the bondages, the, the trap feeling, and you're moving forward with the chariot. Chariot, four of cups, and the hermit. Now, a lot of people have rejected you because you chose to move away and change your life. 
you did something different. Emotions were running high when you chose to step out of your comfort zone into your north node and do something for yourself. People called you selfish, but that was only because they had ulterior motives. And they didn't want you to shine. And it broke your fucking heart. These were people that you trusted. They said that they were bored of you, that you were boring. And it hurt you. You had to analyze the situation. And it caused you a lot of burden. Because you just wanted to love, but you loved yourself enough. You knew somebody was abusing the fuck out of you. Like, what the fuck? So you made the sudden change. You got the download. You moved away. You cleaned up your life. You have the star energy here and you break, break the fucking chains. Yeah, look, you got the five of wands. These people are still trying to drag you into their conflicts, though. They have a strong opinion of you and what you should be doing with your motherfucking life. The knight of wands. Hmm. Because they have no self-control for their life. That's why. They're in and out. They don't know where they're going. They have, may have a lot. They may have a lot going for them. But when they're alone, they hate themselves. They hate their life. It says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new opportunities. A path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Somebody needs to get out of this abusive mindset because, yo, they need to follow their path with faith. Get out of the comfort zone. Even if somebody abused you in your past, guys, don't, mm, don't uh, make them suffer forever for it, okay? This is a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Somebody is sending you a message. But they chew you away like trash. You got them blocked. What's facts? That's facts. Some of you got somebody blocked. And it says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, physically we're always united for love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. Somebody loves you, but you ain't saying shit. You got them blocked, like I said. Better not to say anything. If somebody wants to say something, well, then they better fucking say it. But you ain't saying nothing. If somebody wants this sexual union, they got to break the ties with this shit because they want to come and vacation with you, go on an adventure with you, but they... They're holding on to the past. It's sexual union. Honor a place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there, you will feel true bliss. Somebody wants to feel true bliss, but they're being a tyrant because you said no to them. So they put a fucking bullseye on your back because you walked away from the twin flame. Somebody seen your potential for success. So they ganged up with your family, a group. If I could do any, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answers dwell in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So somebody is trying to figure out how they can turn back time. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and a relationship will magically transform. That's what somebody wasn't able to do, to accept the situation for what it is. They couldn't do that. They wanted to judge and alienate you and make you feel like there was something wrong with you when really there was nothing wrong with you. They just wouldn't take accountability and wanted to live double life is what it comes down to. That's why somebody is running out of time because the eighth is only right around the corner, right? It's like four days a fucking way. Spirit guides, let's see what's going on here. Overall energy is the emperor in reverse. There he is. He comes back out. Somebody is very stubborn. Their ego is taking the best out of them. It's the fool in reverse. They're feeling foolish. Yeah. Very foolish. And it's because they lack control. They wanted to control you, not realizing that you're a star. You're not even sustainable. Like, you can't even, like, you can't grasp a fucking star. Like, you can't hold a star. It's impossible, you know. But the star can choose to stay with you. It's a choice, guys. We have free will. And somebody had parental issues. So what they seen as a child or growing up or something was a lot of control, a lot of needy shit. And that's something that you have really healed from because you're the goat and you're self-made. But somebody wanted you to be on the floor. They wanted to control the way people seen you and your dreams. This is why you fucking walked away from somebody. Because they were abusing their fucking power that they had over you because of your love. Somebody abused the love. It could have been a Leo. Yeah, you knew your worth and you shined. And true love wins, guys. So God creator source is bringing in a long relationship, a long-term relationship. Because your current status is available. You may have been um, 
single for a very long time, but you're getting that victory and that inheritance after that heartbreak. You've seen it. You healed it. You are the healer. And what's meant to be is going to be, guys. Somebody is taking a leap of faith because you help a lot of people. And somebody is on the DL. It could be a Leo who's on the DL and pretending in the background like they were fucking. Every Leo that I fucked had a little itty bitty penis and a big ass fucking attitude. And I said what I said. You're self-made. You help a lot of fucking people. So if these tyrant little dick tricks want to come into your energy and interfere in anything, at the end of the day, they're going to get caught the fuck up by your ancestors. Their head is going to be on a plate. And that's exactly what the fuck is going on here. Your payoff is coming. Your payoff's coming. Their payoff's coming. Like I said, Dharma, Karma, where are you on the, sh- on the karmic scale? These karmics know that you're about to shine, that you know your worth, and that you're helping a lot of people get through this dark night of the soul process. And somebody wanted to whip you. Somebody wanted to control you, wanted to control your money, control your children, control your energy. I don't know. Somebody needs to go and fucking pay attention to their fucking life. It's like people have relationships and they're fucking so busy worried about you and who this star is that you're going to fucking spend your rest of your life with, this twin flame energy. Yo, people need to mind their motherfucking business, drink their motherfucking water, get caught the fuck up. It is what it is, and I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. You know me. Somebody sees you as home. You are home, and somebody didn't want you to be homely to somebody. New moon, I'm telling you. Look, new moon in Aries, new moon. It's time for new shit, guys. It's time to let go. Somebody is feeling cursed because of some kind of spell work, manipulation, but it's all being backfired because you are the real healer. Somebody has a message for you and they're thinking about you right now, right this this very moment, this morning. And it's mature. You matured from this situation and somebody's spazzing the fuck out because you're calling them a fucking a hoe. Like they're, they're a pig. They don't even care if they go with a guy or a girl. Like it doesn't matter. And you matured from a situation. That's why you're not saying anything. Because of the delay. The delay is on them to this sacred union. You didn't do You're doing what you need to do. And you felt the betrayal. You know. You told the truth. And you know how you can get rid of people real fast? Just by fucking telling the truth. These karmics don't like the truth because they're all controlling and shit. And they don't like the fact that people will choose another path for themselves because they have arterial motives. Somebody is fucking spazzing out because they're not leveling up off of your energy everything they built off of faulty foundation is crumbling and you're bored of them <laughs> they said they were bored of you no nah, no nah, you were bored of that shit and you got the download about somebody's insecurities and how they really wanted to hurt you because you were helping people <sighs> yeah they wanted to put you to some kind of scandal so that people didn't see you as helpful but you're the light worker This is why people are fucking coming after you and all the secrets are coming out. Everybody's asking questions. There's no more drama. Nothing is fucking hidden. No drama can affect you, not whatsoever, because it's a new world. Whatever delay happened in the past with these lies, people are rushing in to tell you the truth because they need to get rid of this karma and the truth will set everybody free. And love conquers all, guys. It is what it is. Somebody was on drugs. And this is why it was easy for them to be manipulated and and abuse their power and shit. They lack control because of these drugs. Now somebody may be getting clean and sober, but you are definitely clean and sober. On the spot, you'll take a drug test any day. And somebody is learning from the past experiences and they're blinded by your truth. They are stuck in self-hate, pitiful, jealous, envious. They lack self-love. And this is why they're always trying to attack you. Because you got that big bullseye on your back because you are anointed and protected. You are untouchable. And people fucking can't stand it because you've been untouchable your whole fucking life. And people never understood that. They never understood it. And it's because you are born this way. And people have always tried to put mountains in your way. Hurdles. Now there is a mountain here for somebody to flip the script and become a better person. Yes, sorry. I'm telling you, somebody really tried to siphon your energy and harvest off of you. Put blockages, make you feel in this dark, dark place for a very long time. But the truth is coming out. All the secrets are coming out. Everybody's hidden agendas and the the skeletons in their closet. Everything that's hidden in people's houses. They're all coming out. Everything is being seen. Hallelujah. Cheers to that because 
It is time of reckoning, guys. Judgment Day is here. Mm. As light seeds, we've been working really, really hard for this day. And it's here. Now you take very good care of your vessel, your home, your comfort. But somebody didn't. And they're about to sing like a bird. A lot of people are about to sing like a bird, about to come up to you and confess. Just start rushing in and telling the truth because their karma sucks. You forewarned them not to fuck with you. And you moved the fuck away because you knew that eventually the truth was going to come out. It just took a little while and a lot of patience, but you got that victory either way. And these mice, these rats, somebody's telling on them. There was uh, some kind of group trying to eat up all your information to try to use it against you. Listen, together we can. And somebody, a lot of people are jumping ship and telling on these lowlifes. Ship. Child. Yes, somebody did not want you to heal your inner child or something that happened to you as a child. These people were foxy in your energy for a very long time. They knew who you were as a child. If you're a star, you were a child star. That's facts. Because you're lucky. You brought a lot of fucking people luck throughout all your years. And they were fucking snakes. They snaked you. And that's why their head is on a fucking platter. So let's bring this all together and see what the overall energy is. I have no idea what the time is, guys, because it's so bright. I can't really see. So I hope this.